Hi everyone, welcome on board to Hopper.tv. Tongues are blabbing here and there. And I will not blame people for this. There is a new, new one, a new one, something that <laughs> a lot of people are kind of um, looking at it like, wait, is this not what we thought about? According to Yesun Wike, Federal Capital Territory Minister, he said that he has received a directive from President Bola Tinubu to allocate lands to judges and officials. Yeah, allocate lands to judges and officials in other hands of the federal government. We can make this known during a meeting with Chief Judge of the Federal High Court, Justice John Soho, on Thursday, where he pledged to put infrastructure in place before land allocation in the federal capital territory. In his words, he said, before now, the president had given me the go-ahead to allocate lands to legislator the executive and the judiciary what remains now is how it should be done because the number is too much what we have decided to do is to do this in phases all cannot be done at the same time let us ask ourselves why are they allocating land to themselves like they are the only one that exists and moreover this land allocation is it not that is what people are saying to bribe the judges that worked on behalf of Bola Metunumbu. Kindly urge Your Excellency to use your good office in allocating land and property to all seven federal high court judges. We appreciate a large number and hence suggest that allocation can be in batches scattered at various locations in the federal capital territory particularly in your capacity as the landlord of our headquarters. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. The three hands of government must work together, even though independently. And I also believe that no arm of government should be treated lesser than any other arm of government. It should be treated equally. Where I preside, like I said, I know the importance of the judiciary. We want our democracy to survive. But without the judiciary, it will not be possible. Nigerians are talking about democracy today is because of the judiciary, the role you play. And so whatever the judiciary requires to strengthen them is not over demanding. Before now, the President and Commander-in-Chief are giving me the go-ahead to allocate land to the legislature, to the executive, and also to the judiciary. What is being waited is the, how it will be done. You know, the number is much. If you look at the legislature, the federal house, and the senate, and then you look at the executive, you see the number of uh, ministers and special advisors. And then you talk about the judiciary. Look at from Supreme Court to Court of Appeal, FCT, and the, and the federal uh, high court. So what we have decided to do is that, like you said, in phases. All cannot be done at the same time. So we've agreed that uh, because of the seniority in, the, uh, in, uh, in our profession, in the bench and the, and the bar, we're likely to take, I don't know how many you are at, uh, totally at the, at the fire high court. I don't know how many you are. Are you up to 50? Of present, we are 96. Ah, hi. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I'm 96. Um, but uh, outside jurisdiction, how many? Outside, yeah. Outside the jurisdiction. That is outside, outside the, the FCT. The FC, the FCT yes. That should be 96 minus 13. 
Okay, let, let me say it this way. Uh, how many divisions do you have? So we have the presiding or administrative judges. How many divisions? About 36. About 36. Uh -huh. So this is what I want to do. If we have 36, then we can take you know ones in Abuja here to add. So let it be the first uh, 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 phase. So that administrative heads of all and those who are in the headquarters. headquarters. Because we interface with you more. Well, we interface with you uh, more. But let you know me that we discriminated. That's why we have to also go to the other areas. And um, we will send the forms to the chief uh, register. register so he can give you the forms to fill. Last time when the minister of uh, my predecessor was here, I think he made some allocations. Unfortunately, where he made allocations, there are no infrastructure. So for me, it's baseless. Allocating land when they cannot have access to the, to the land doesn't make sense. So we'll do everything we can to make sure that uh, for uh, development, you will have access to the, to the land. A lot of Nigerians, like I said initially, reacted to this. Um, they believe that the president is simply bribing the judiciary. Um, I haven't realized that the judiciary is important in swaying or manipulating um, decisions when it comes to sensitive matters such as election and that the president is just fulfilling what he promised he was going to fulfill to them. But um, I kind of want to believe that um, the president, if he wanted to have done this, he probably would have given them without too much, uh, you know, uh, without them asking, I mean, or is this a way to uh, just cover the eyes and smoke screen people into believing that the judiciary requested for this officially saying that we need to be part of this and these are the reasons so that um, opposition will not jump and say, we have found out, whistleblower, we found out that the president gave this like it's a secret thing um, just to bribe them. Maybe this is just what it is because um, uh, we can saying the seniors will be first, um, let, uh, forms will be sent to the seniors and we will see what to do because um, we have to handle it this way. And um, looking at it, why is there no government house stationed at each location for judges to make use of if they are transferred from one point to the other? I mean, maintained with security. Uh, we still have a long way to go. Now they are demanding for their own personal, personal accommodation, personal land, personal house. And it will be for them forever. And you will not blame them. You cannot blame them because uh, governors... Governors, let us say presidents also, governors, they have permanent, permanent, I mean, properties that they acquire, senators, legislators, whatever they acquire, automobiles, everything becomes their personal, personal property. Apart from pension that most of them will take for life, properties becomes theirs. Where do we go from here? I thought if you are serving, there are government houses, and uh, properties, automobiles that you use afterwards, you move on and the appropriate uh, ministry will look into those automobiles if they are still usable. They will look at those houses if renovation needs to be made and it will be a continuous process. But unfortunately, that is not what it is. Now they are demanding for land, demanding for this, demanding for that, demanding for the other, demanding for this, demanding for that. We want, so imagine... Just imagine how bad it is. Imagine how corrupt the government is. Our plans, scheme, plot, everything is just, everything smells of corruption. No proper packaging. And it's not as if these guys don't know that there should be, there should be reserved apartments for such individuals, for government officials, who are to take, you know, why are they acting like they do not understand how things work? If a judge is sent to, let's say, the southeast of Nigeria and the judge is from the southwest, you should have a house renovated with security for that judge. It's as simple as that. 
and it will be a repetition like a process. The state government or the federal government will be in charge of renovating and making sure that these places, these, these apartments are available. This is how it's supposed to be. You are not supposed to own it. You are supposed to use and live. But unfortunately, that is not what it is. What we have on our hands now is um, it's a terrible one. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a total disaster. So yes, some week has promised. He said the president already told him, instructed him to provide all of this. Um, since um, according to Wiki, the, the seniors in the judiciary are those that they interface with um, in the federal capital territory. Don't forget that they are seeking for this right at the federal capital territory, Abuja. They believe that um, they have been kicked aside. The only time they look at them is when uh, they need to decide on elections. They say that um, they, they, there are three arms of government, the executive, legislators, and the judiciary. The judiciary believe that they have been kicked and they are having the shorter stick. If you are a senator, you are more into the politics. And politics is where they get money from. That's it. So the judiciary are used once in a while. And if the judges are not careful, the executive can muscle on them. Same with the senators. But it's uh, more difficult with the senators because they can fight back somehow. Unlike the judges. We've seen countless judges that have been harassed in their homes because they refuse to listen, refuse to do the biddings of one governor or one uh, federal personality, such as Wiki. I don't know what you think about this one. Um, drop your comment. Um, do, do you think that this is just a way to bribe them or this is required or the approach to it? Because there are three phases to it. One, is there not supposed to be a property, apartments that judges can live in when they are posted to wherever? Drop your comment. Like and share. See you in the next update. I say a very big thank you to those who have taken time to subscribe to this channel and if you're yet to subscribe kindly tap on that subscription button and also the red bell icon so you will be notified whenever videos such as this are uploaded.